All right, Charlie Aquino here, and welcome to a brand new Easy Slides tutorial. And if you haven't heard about it, Photodex has just released the latest version of ProShow. It's now version 4.5. And I guess a lot of people are really excited right now to try out this uh, new release by Photodex. And this release features a lot of new things, including new transitions. An example is this one. See that cool effect there? That's just one of the new transitions that is available in ProShow Producer 4.5. And the other new thing about it is the wizard here. The wizard allows you to create a slideshow in an instant by just choosing your photos, choosing your music, and by a few clicks of a button, you will have an entire complete show in just a few minutes. Now I've been playing with this program since this morning, and one of the things that uh, I realized that with the introduction of the wizard, there is a way for us right now to be able to apply a single slide style to multiple slides. If you remember before, when we want to apply a single slide style to several slides, what you have to do is you open the styles menu and then click on a style and then you apply it and then go on to the next slide and you apply the same style. That's a very cumbersome uh, way of doing it and not really a very efficient one. But with the introduction of the wizards, there is a way for us right now to really uh, apply a single slide style to multiple slides and I'll show you how that is done. So what we do is you create a new project and add a title slide the first one, insert blank slide. Let's add a title slide here, like on the styles here. And there is a new built-in style here in ProShow Producer 4.5 that's called Portrait Edgy Title. It's on the Captions and Titles category. So let's just apply that. And we now have our title slide. Now what we're going to do here is that this will be our main show, for example, and we're going to add several slides here that would have the same slide style effect. So here's what you do. Click on the wizard. And this is the Pro Show Wizard dialog box. What we do is click on the add. And I have here several images that I want to use. Let me choose five of them. So I have here five images that I selected and in each of these images I will apply the same slide style effect. All right? So before we head on to the next, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add four images that I will use as fillers. It can be any image actually. So I choose the colored ones just for me to easily identify them. I'll explain later why we need these fillers but the way that you need to lay out your photos is like this. This is your first photo. You put in a filler image in between your first and second photo. And another filler image between your second and third photo. Another filler between your third and fourth photo. And, and another filler between your fourth and fifth photo. So this is the layout. Your image, a filler. Your second image, a filler. Third image, another filler fourth image and so on. So that's how you need to lay it out. Once you've done that, click on next. You can add some music, but we'll pass that for now. And this is where the trick happens. Now, you're going to need to add a new theme for your show. Click on add. Let's say my theme. And when this dialog box appears, you have a choice of selecting all of the available slide styles in your library and all of the available transitions for ProShow to use and choose randomly when creating the automatic show. But that's not what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect all the slide styles. I'll click None. And I will head down to the slide style that I want. I'll select Single Image Enhancements. There's a slide style here called Backdrop Framed or Dark Frame Zoom In and I'm going to select that. I need to check that and I'll see at the bottom one slide style and 473 transitions enabled. 
Now I'm not going to deselect the transitions, it's okay. I can just easily change that later. I click apply. And I select my theme, click next. And I can choose the energy level. I set it moderate. Click on create. ProShow will spend a few minutes trying to create your show. And once it's done, you will see this. All right, did you notice it? Let me play this again and explain it, why we needed that fillers. The first image in your show is the image that you want, the black and white. And then this is the image with no uh, effects, and then the next image with the effects. So the concept of the filler image is that when the Pro Show Wizard tries to apply a single slide style to several ones, it selects basically the style that you choose and a style that doesn't have anything so that's the basic idea behind it so it alternately chooses between those two slide styles first slide style is the one that you chose second slide style is the style that doesn't have any effect third slide style is the one that you chose again personally I think that is an error in the program but that's the way uh, the version is right now but hopefully it can be corrected in the next versions but that's just the way it is and that is why we need to add those filler images. And when you are happy with your show, you could just click Next and click Done. And then now you could just select all the images that you have the slide style implemented. Select all of them. There are five of them. Copy, press Control C. Head now to your main show and paste it there there you have it so you have now five different images all with the same slide style done very quickly all right let's play it again all right so that's our first image and our second image now of course if you want to have a uniform transition just select all of them shift select everything and apply a transition. Let's select float left blur and click on apply. Okay, and that's basically it. All right, now one last tip. Suppose you want to apply a st slide style that uses two images, like for example, the doozy do slide style from Style Pack 3. Let me show you how you could do that. Click on the wizard again, and then you need to add the content. So say we're going to use the do see do slide style. So select two images. Those are the first two images in this first slide. And then you have the next two images. Click on open. So these first two images will be in one slide. These next two images will be in the next slide, all with the same slide style. We need to add another filler image in the middle. So this filler image, we place it in between. So two, the filler, second two. Click next, next. Select our theme, my theme, and edit it. So let's select none. Let's go to our basic montages. There is it, do see do one. Click on apply, click on next. Let's just put it at moderate, create. And when Pro Show is done, you will have this. So these are your two images with the effect. Your filler image. And the next image with the same effect. All right, so you understand now how it's done. That's basically it. And remember, put in that filler image. And I hope it gets addressed in the next versions of Pro Show. So that's the tutorial and that's a cool tip that you could use in creating your shows. See you again on the next tutorial and thanks for watching.